Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really, really well. And as we look at the last week of November, we will look at the cards and we'll focus on the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of Oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, so we have some knights and a king in our reading with the sun. So we have the, the knight of cups, we have the sun, major arcana, we have the king of wands. So in looking at the knight of cups, we see our knight, and what always strikes me is how, how tall he stands in the saddle how uh, perfectly put together with his armor, holding the cup. And with it looks like the little wings here um, on top of his helmet. And the horse is kind of in this playful walking mode. I'm sure there's a name for it, special name, maybe dressage or something. Let me know what the correct uh, vocabulary is but this night is about emotions and is about um, you know uh, he's either going to be filling this cup offering this cup to someone else uh, and sharing it the knight of cups is really someone who is dreamy who's emotionally aware, uh, kind, romantic, poetic, thoughtful, uh, just very charming. And so it's a very graceful, I think, and light energy. And, you know, it's the right balance of emotions, not too mushy and not too cold. And um, this can be energy that benefits you or it could be someone that you meet and uh, just that you enjoy being with someone who's a sensitive soul and um, just generally very pleasant to be with and so this is uh, you know the Knight of Cups is um, has a sense of emotional stability and you know the horse is gray and that that grayness indicates some sense of stability and again of being emotionally aware uh, he's looking right into the sun here right directly at the sun and the sun we can see the child on the horse the carefree wonder of life being grateful for life and having that um, sense of uh, gee isn't isn't life fabulous before we start to think of all the other negative things that drift in it's just the real simple thought of being grateful for being alive and this bread banner our passions our inspirations our desires of following them the sun brings life force, it's radiant, it energizes us, it, uh, it brings, shines light on our soul and, and uh, allows us to be really who we are. And this sun brings energy. So high energy, uh, high inspiration. It's a joyful card, it's a card of abundance and happy relationships so that the night is coming your way in terms of you're single and dating and he's um, someone that you're dating and you have the the sun you know it's it's looking good it's a favorable card to be right next to the knight of cups but this sun is a beautifully po uh, powerful and positive card and you know as I was reading some of my older books that I have uh, I learned that there are 20, is it 21 rays, and those rays represent the major, 
the other major cards. And so uh, I think the connection is to be always aware of kind of the stage or the, of the journey that you're on. So I thought that was interesting, but the, the energy is high here and the inspiration to do the things that bring you joy is are that's important and again we have the king of wands and he's also looking at the sun and he sits on his throne and he looks nice but focused and he's also wearing this orangey red outfit his hair or his wig is also red and so that suggests passions and virility and lust. Uh, the King of Wands is, is adventure seeking and has the, the uh, determination and willpower to do things and to make things happen. He's capable and so I think of the King of Wands as like your typical tape type by a kind of person who is driven to uh, achieve and it has ambition and so when we see the king of wands in a reading it's also about you know making the first step into reaching your goals or uh, learning new things that you want to learn whether you want to take up a hobby you know make the call go visit the swimming pool at the y ymca Whatever it is, it's action, it's moving forward and having confidence to do so. I think that there's also a piece of the King of Wands and really Wands is that, you know, Wands are, fi are fire, it's the fire element. And so when you do things and you have these adventures, you know, it's really trial by fire, you're learning. Um, you're learning what works for you and what doesn't work for you and what your passions are. You dip your toe over here, you do a little bit of this, maybe it's not for you. You go try something else, maybe that's a better fit. But there's a sense of pursuing adventure when we see the King of Wands, of taking action, being very capable and achieving. So whether you are going to take the ball and run with it on Monday, or at the office you have a king of wands kind of person that can help you out, mentor you, discuss a project with. Um, that's the type of energy that we see. And again, it's uh, bolstered by the sun here, radiating and filling all parties with love and warmth and radiance and energy and inspiration to create and to achieve. So a beautiful reading with uh, two court cards I think that are wonderful to have in, in a reading, in, in particularly this reading. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have 1 and um, 19, so that's 20, and that's with another one, 21, so that's 2 plus 1 equals 3. 3 is about group activities, it's about expression and communication, and again, creativity. So an awesome reading for Monday. Let me just put these to the side, and I will pick a Keepers of the Light Oracle card to close the reading and to get a sense of or the message is in, in sync? Is it something, a practice area that we can think about for Monday? Okay. Just turn it around. Sanat Kumara, light activation, shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. So, you know, I always say with the sun, shine your light, and this couldn't be more true of shining your light, of letting people see who you are, what you're all about, and the best way to do it is to smile someone and to reach out and to say hello, hi, how are you? And you never know how, what's on the other end of that interaction. 
could be life changing, could be a great new friend, could be just anything to improve your life. You just never know. And so I, I love this. I love the uh, light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance, great. This is awesome. Be the light. So I hope that you found something helpful today in this reading. If you did, please like, share, or comment. Uh, I think it's great. We have a great community. If you're new, please subscribe. And um, you can check out other videos. I posted today a Mind, Body, Spirit Weekly Oracle reading. So um, that was also pretty interesting for the day and for the week. So come back again tomorrow for another daily tarot reading. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.